Hi folks, I'm back again with another video on modifications of instruments after my hand injury. As I've mentioned in previous videos, um, I started off with modification of the saxophone and then moved to the bass clarinet, which I will show now, then alto, and then finally the Ubel plateau clarinet. All modifications and restorations of the instruments were done by Randy at the Axe Repair in Mesa, Arizona. So, what I have here is I picked up a used Selmer bass clarinet from the 70s. I think a fantastic instrument. And it was necessary for me to find an older instrument. So, if the modifications that were done created a problem, uh, it wouldn't be so difficult or so expensive to um, to absorb the loss, because we all know how expensive new bass clarinets are. In the Ubel clarinet, of course, I learned to use 3D printing. This was done way before I used 3D printing. And what we did essentially is just find a way to use brass shims and cork. Now, whether I go back and redo these to make them look nicer, I don't know. I want to make a comment, though, about the principal issue that I deal with that's most difficult is navigating the brake. Of course, that's difficult for everybody, but when fingers are shortened, it creates an added difficulty. The other issue is when moving back and forth between instruments, like I've been doing in making these videos, my hand takes some getting used to. I, I have to kind of re-equilibrate. So I want to go ahead and show you what, what, what's happening here. Um, the reed is a pretty light reed, so let's see how it goes. light sounds kind of tinny but you see that you, you see what I've done here and like I said this is always a work in progress but I make these to show people don't let your disability slow you down anyone with the kind of injury that I have or neuropathies can do something to make their playing experience better thanks